Hey guys, Pastor Howard again. Just want to share with you more on that being immediate when the Lord tells you to do something. Don't contemplate it. The enemy, Satan, will contemplate, make you contemplate till you think it's a bad idea, but God's in that. When you're walking by faith and not by sight, and you're following the Lord, there's going to be some immediate things that you can that you can pick up on. Listen, I've done, I've done the other. Missed the immediate blessings and gotten out of the season of God. That's what my friend and I had contemplated and, and thought that I had done. Is you can get out of the will of God and not, not be walking in the, in the perfect peace of God. So there's nothing, nothing like following that immediate touch from the Lord. And that's what the disciples did. did. The Bible says they, they dropped their nets and they followed the Lord. The sons of Zebedee told their dad, dad goodbye. The fishing business isn't for us anymore. And they followed the Lord. And all of them were persecuted. All of them were martyred. But one, you know, John on the Isle of Patmos. So they, what I'm saying is those immediate things that they did dropping their net and following the Lord, it's never going to do you harm. It's never going to do you uh, be a bad deal because God's seasons are just right. When you follow the Lord, when you follow what He's doing, you know, I'm reminded of what David said in Psalm 20, verse 7, when he said, Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. Well, in the 21st century, you could put your iPhone, some trust in iPhones, some trust in this or that. But David said, but I'm going to trust the Lord my God. I'm not going to deviate. I'm not going to get off course. I'm going to trust the Lord through the good times and the bad times, and I'm going to allow the Lord to elevate me. I can remember, saints, as a young pastor going all the time during the, during the week. I'm opening my heart here and telling you the truth. Uh, uh, and, and looking at other churches, always wanting to pastor somewhere else. Listen, all that does is breed more discontent. It just, it just hurts you. Don't go through that. I'm telling you as your pastor, find your peace and your contentment in the Lord. That's why Solomon said, he said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your fortitude, all your tenacity. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. This is the, this is the important part of it. In all your ways, plural, acknowledge Him. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Now this was the richest man in the world, the most wisest man in the world. He, he deviated, got, at, got in trouble. But at this time, he was following the Lord. And he's telling us, he should have been preaching to himself, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Lord, thank You for what You've done for me today. I thank You in my mind. I'm thanking Him when I leave someone's house or go see a patient. I'm thanking the Lord. I'm praising Him. And, and, and in between visitations, in between social gatherings, this is what I've learned to do. Maybe you can take it to heart and think about this too. I say, God, now i got to regroup. I want to regroup because I want to give the next person my best. I'm not going to give them leftovers. I want to be an active listener. I want to stay in that person's pain if they need to be there. And I want to help heal them in Jesus' name. And that's what this world needs. They need compassion. We need compassionate hearers. we got a lot of preachers, but we don't have a lot of people that really want to hear uh, what, they, what you need to give them. And I'm saying to all of us, including myself, 
Let's always take time to make sure we're being a compassionate hearer. Not just a compassionate hearer of the word, but a compassionate hearer of hurting people. And that's what the world's filled with. Before I found Jesus and before you found Jesus, we were a hurt, broken person. And thank God he's made us ambassadors for Christ. We represent the king now. We've traded partners in Jesus' name. So, Father, right now, in, in your name, in your son's name, in Jesus' strong name, I pray, God, that you would move in, in men and women's hearts, saints of God at Crane Eater Community Church. Lord, our church, your church, it's where we're investing and we're finding you here. We're worshiping you. We're digging in your word. We're doing works for for you, for your name's sake, doing things for the kingdom. And Lord, I pray that you'd strengthen every person, undergird them with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen.